right, and welcome back to another episode of the Laces Out Podcast. This is week 13, and here with me once again, Menace, you're about to be a regular on the show, man. What's going on? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? I'm glad to be back again. You know, I'm, I ain't got no problem being a regular. Ain't got no problem with that. Well, the good news is, you know, since we talked in week 12, we get to really talk about uh, kind of what we talked about in week 12. So, uh, your commanders, you called that shit. <laughs> you called it that... You're like, hey, slow down. This this could be an ugly game for us, and mm-hmm. it sure as hell was. So what happened? Uh man, where do I start? That's the problem. Like, I mean, but but here's the thing. With and at one point we looked like that was gonna be our game. Our defense was playing strong. Our special teams had a block field goal, a block punt. Yep. yep. Oh playing the game bobby wagner got a strip fumble i mean they the defensive special teams were doing their jobs but cyber missed two extra points that were crucial. oh man um because that especially that last one at the end of the game we'll get into that but um <laughs> i'm starting to see a lot of things and it's making me question too um from different people that are wondering if the NFL has figured out Cliff Kingsbury's offense already because defense has been getting the ball back to us, but the offense has been very stagnant until the two-minute drill and end of the game. It seems yeah. That seems to be the one time where we're actually moving the ball and Jaden's getting it out and making completions. But, yeah, I don't know. Cliff's got to make some adjustments, man. And we, uh, we're banged up at running back right now because now B-Rob yeah. missed most of the game and Eckler's out with a concussion. Man, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, he took a shot, too. Um, God, yeah. Instantly went down. And, yeah, that's, that's tough. So now you got, what, McNichols? So right now, McNichols, we recalled Chris Rodriguez from um, the practice squad. Uh, I saw that we worked out, I don't know if you remember him, but a little fantasy uh, bright spot for the Jaguars. I think it was last year, the year before, James Robinson. We worked him out. So, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. But right now we got to find – we need help in the running back position. Wide receivers, we need help. I mean, we we just – something's got to – got to change because defense has been playing pretty well until they're gassed at the end of the game yeah yeah and at the end i mean terry mcclory mclaurin had that long touchdown basically to tie it up you thought oh, and then man. cybert missed the extra point and now i feel like this is i found a, i think i found a sound bite that's it's him oh. trying to get into the facility <laughs> on uh on on this monday <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna open the door for him because uh we did <laughs> we did put him on the uh non-injured reserve list or something <laughs> like that, man so he uh i'm surprised he's not injured after uh well, i'm surprised they didn't kick his ass after that <laughs> well that's the problem is he was injured and i'm starting to think he might have rushed a little uh, one week too early because apparently people people were noticing when he was planting when he was kicking something was off and also our long snapper yeah. having yeah. having a bad snap a bad you know then that throws off kickers every time a lot of times when they go to kick you know you see a bad snap the ball gets fumbled you're like oh shit they're you know what do i do but you know it's it, that was a tough game man that kickoff return for a touchdown um and then we try an outside kick and give up another return for that a touchdown. was insane. it just it just yeah. felt like Every chance we had to win the game just instantly went away. As soon as we made any any kind of progress or did had a good play happen, it just Cowboys had an answer, man. That guy. I, I, I think it's him. good though. I think it's good sometimes to get those losses out of the way during the season, mm-hmm. uh, especially like to someone like the Cowboys who haven't been playing well. Like I don't even know if they'll beat the Giants this week. I, I'm gonna pick them, but I I'm iffy on that. Honestly. Um, I think they will. Base if, if if Tommy DeVito plays, I don't see the Cowboys losing that game. They look terrible against the Bucks. That's true. Well, I mean, and that's another thing. It's just I don't know, man. <laughs> the Giants are just one of those teams where they're hit or miss, and mm-hmm. so are the Cowboys. So, and and that, a division game, anything can happen. Just like this past week with the. Uh, the commanders and cowboys so well the other thing is the cowboys will be back at home and they're still searching Mm. for a home win this season so 
And it's Thanksgiving when they're and playing. And it's on too. Thanksgiving. So I think I think there's a good chance that they will win. Um, you want to see Jerry Jones you know. eating a big old turkey leg <laughs> <laughs> after the game. I don't, don't want to see that old ass <laughs> eating nothing on TV. Screw it. Oh, man. Well, uh, yeah, last week was, was kind of insane. I did win in my fantasy league to put actually both of my main leagues to put me in to the running of playoffs i'm eight nice. and four i clinched it in one of my uh leagues it's just my other one i need at least one more to secure it so i'm mm-hmm. hoping but i'm facing two good opponents here uh this week i'm playing against uh pete he's hit he's got a good team he's eight and four same division as me so it's, it's gonna be tough and then the following i play water boy uh, for the last <laughs> week, so maybe maybe we'll get him on uh, next week, so we can talk a little trash before that oh, matchup. Yeah. I'd like to hear some of that. <laughs> yeah, so so we'll see, cause I I really need to get in the playoffs. I want mm-hmm. to see if I can uh, make a little playoff run. It's been a long time in this UCFL league for me to actually do anything. So yeah, I mean I'm just glad I got past five wins, cause I've been hearing it from the whole UCFL chat. <laughs> a five win. Chris, that's all he does. Get his five wins oh, and then man. lose. So I got my eight wins. I'm still not done, I'm hoping. No, <laughs> man, we'll, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I feel um, that one. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, for Fantasy Land, I know you said you're kind of out of the running now. Well, no, you, I'm still alive, you? actually. <laughs> okay. Did you win this past week? I, I did win. I got um, even, even with – waddle having his breakout game on my bench yep. i still um was able to pull out a win it was like 138 to 105 the nice. dude i played he had his last two players were monday night and they were quentin johnson and jk dobbins so yep and ended up, didn't... oh no i mean jk you know i JK was like did, maybe okay. maybe jk would have got like a touchdown or something i thought quentin was gonna do better but, dude that man terrible he's he's one of those guys he reminds me i don't know he's just that guy he's like jameson williams like where he'll go off for a game and then (laughs) yeah and then the next game he won't even be like is he on the field yeah like but but it's like some of those drops are just insane dude like they 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 can't hit you in the hands any better than that (laughs) like Mm -hmm. oh it's tough tough, what about uh so what's your playoff uh percentage of making it do you have you seen that um I don't know the exact percentage, but based on how everything's going, there is, I want to say there's like three or four teams that are all the same record trying to get a playoff spot. I am currently the first team out right now. So right now there's four teams that are six and six, all trying to get a playoff spot. We have two that have clinched at nine and three. The next two teams are seven and five. So it's a uh, it's a little mix up here. So you're gotta, in the six. You I'm got a, the six yeah, win. I'm I'm six and six, but since I have the lowest amount of points out of the four teams, six and six, I'm the odd need guy to win out, out. Right now. So yeah, I got to win out this week and next week. I got a good chance this week, but I need my team to just show up and. They're- so you tell yeah. me there's a chance. Oh, there's a chance. After this week, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. Well, we got some. We got a few games this Thursday. I, I'm just going to skip week 12. Let's just talk about week 13 mm-hmm. since we got some Thanksgiving games going on. So mm-hmm. at the 1230 game, we got the Bears-Lions. Um, the Bears haven't won a game on the road. The Lions have only lost one at home. They're 10-1. <laughs> and one. So I think this game is going to be a, a – I think they're going to handle the Bears. Um, the Lions have been doing that all year, and I just I, – I don't – I wish it was another team in their division, like the Lions versus Vikings on Thanksgiving. That would be a nice game. Or even the yeah. Lions versus Packers or something like that. That's but, what I thought it would be. Yeah, Lions versus Bears. That, this is just terrible. So the twelve thirty game is going to suck. You might as well just eat your turkey <laughs> and not really, you know, to maybe take a nap and then wake up. And then you got kind of another shitty game, the Giants and Cowboys. We talked about that one a little mm. bit, saying the Cowboys, they're still looking for their first win at home but it is tommy devito under center for the giants so i, I i'm leaning cowboys might, on that too might be a chance to see drew lock this game if tom if tommy's not doing well i think i think we might see a drew lock appearance yeah that's yeah. my prediction my prediction that's for possible. Thursday. 
It's up to Tracy. Tracy for Tracy, the Giants, God. man. He just fumbles. He just fumbled Ruski over there. He's hurting. Anytime, man. yeah. He's just anytime he has a shot, he will just yep. give the team, the other team, the ball as soon as it, <laughs> he did it against the Panthers, and he also mm -hmm. did it again last week. So I thought he was a great free agency scoop for me, and then he just ever since that breakout week that he had, I just I haven't really gotten much out of him. And then I mean, he, he's been and, a decent running back. It's know. just he yeah he's not living up to the expectation whenever you mm -hmm. picked him up nope <laughs> um and then of course now this is the only good game i think um of thursday and that's going to be the dolphins packers um at night thursday mm. night football and that one i see the packers winning but i wouldn't be shocked if the dolphins somehow um snuck away with a but win dolphins in cold weather i mean come on yeah you think they're gonna show up I don't know, man. I think their their backs are against the wall right now, so they kind of have to win yeah. out. Oh, they have to. Or else they're they're not going to get a wild card spot because there's no way they're catching the uh, no the Bills. So, so yeah, this is it's kind of it for them. But I do think the pack. I mean, they're just all around better. I, you got Josh Jacobs. He's starting to feel himself. He had two touchdowns last game. Um, you know, of course, you got the threat of Jaden Reed, and mm -hmm. you got Watson. I mean, did uh, Dobbs. You got you got everybody craft for the Packers and then the Dolphins right now they can't even get Hill in the end zone no. they can, like you know after Hill talking all this smack saying <laughs> you know like I'm going for for I forgot what he say a thousand two thousand yards some oh, crazy yeah, shit yeah and now he's you know his team's not even positive so mm -hmm. yeah but like you said it's gonna be cold it's gonna be twenty eight degrees in Lambeau Oof. ooh with the possibility of Maybe some snow or, yeah. Oh, there's maybe. a good chance we saw snow in Cleveland, so yeah, there's so. a good chance for it. That atmosphere is awesome, especially uh, you know if you're Green Bay. Mm -hmm. With that snow, I was there um, during the Panther Packers game, and it snowed during that game, and and it came down to the wire, and that just the whole environment in Lambeau in the snow mm -hmm. is like this is what you ask for on a yep. Thanksgiving night, uh, or especially. Just winter, fall, football, football weather. weather. Yep, and that, and they're a passionate fan base, so they love that shit. Dude. Absolutely, they yep. love it. And uh, then we get a game on Friday. We get the Raiders oh, versus the Chiefs. We get the Raiders versus the Chiefs. So uh, a, another division game. It's going to be on Prime Video. Black Friday um, game at three p.m. Interesting. At three p.m. <laughs> really shitty game. I, I, I mean. I think they knew what they were doing when they set it up. That hey, Prime, you can take this game. Um, here's the Chiefs versus like, Raiders. We'll gladly take it. It's Pat Mahomes. <laughs> I'm just happy that there's football on Friday, so that, that's nice. Oh yeah. Um, but then we're skipping a day and then going to straight to Sunday, um, and then we got some decent, decent games. I, Pretty good I, I, Yeah, I have a few that I like to target, and mm -hmm. I like the Chargers Falcons game. I that's, like that yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, I think that one could be a coin flip, and then also um, let's look. Falcon like Falcons have to show up that game because like if they don't if they don't win, I mean they have a chance of the Bucks taking that or and, and statistically the Panthers if they somehow go on a run they could. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's technically up, up for grabs it, for yeah it really is. So we'll see the and the Bucks you know? are playing the Panthers too, yep. so that's gonna be a really big game for the Panthers. If they win, then especially, especially with how, how well they're starting to look against, you know, one of the top teams in the league, the chiefs. Yeah. I mean, that yeah, was a last close week. game down to yep. the wire. Yeah. I, and the thing is, I knew the chiefs were going to win uh, just, just because they gave Mahomes the ball under two minutes. And I was like, this is not good. <laughs> and then he yeah. goes and makes that <laughs> huge run and gets in there. Mm -hmm. and just very, very unfortunate. Uh, good what's going up. on, Proverbs? We got Proverbs up in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Proverbs. He said, let's go Buffs. You mm -hmm. talking about the Buffalo Bills? Who do they play this week? Or are they on a bye? No, they, they play the, the 49ers. Nine. Nine. That's that's going to be a good game, game, too. But the Bills haven't lost yeah. at home. Yeah, and, and the 49ers has been, has been struggling against just about everybody. So and they have I, to I'm leaning again. Bills. Yep, 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 yeah, and especially going to Buffalo, which is 31 degrees there. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Probably 49ers aren't going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, 49ers are always a tough team, so you really can't count them out. And, no. they, you know, but They'll the thing is, that. you'll probably have Brock Purdy back, I'm hoping, to make it a good game at least. Mm. Um, but if he's out, that game's a wash. I mean, the Bills yeah. are going by at least a touchdown. You know, CMC, I mean, he's looked okay, but he hasn't really looked himself still, so, yeah. Another game that uh, really, like I was looking at, was the Steelers Bengals because mm-hmm. the Bengals have been playing really well. It's just they cannot buy a win, but they will be at home going up against the Steelers. Now the Steelers have been shutting a lot of teams down. They even took down the Ravens, so they're at an all-time high right now. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm leaning Steelers on this game, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Bengals' offense could score a little bit on the Steelers. Just because this, Steelers' offense isn't the best. So it's no. like, I, I don't see them putting up a ton of points. It's just, if the Bengals can put up points against the Steelers, I think it could be a good game. But if the Steelers' defense shows up, I think the Steelers will win. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at Joe. Like, Joe Burrow is putting up numbers. It's just their defense yeah. isn't really – it's not really helping them. He's got over 3,000 yards. Yeah, he's putting he's putting up, like – and you look at his stats alone, you'd be like, holy shit, this guy's putting up, like, an MVP-type yep. season. Man, Same they, must, Jamar be, they Chase. must be in a good spot. And you look at their record, you're like, what the hell? Like, they're 4-7? Like, right. what? And that's because they're, they're crappy um... – defense and and Uh -uh. believe it or not they're favored this game i'm not surprised so yeah they're they're favored in cincinnati uh by three and yeah steelers are gonna be on the road they're four and two on the road i mean i don't know man after doubting the steelers this whole you know first half of the season (laughs) now this back half i am not doubting them i just i feel like Pick the better defense and move on. That's kind of where I where my head has been uh, recently, and bad. and that's that takes me to my next game, and that's the Cardinals Vikings. And it's like, hey, stick with the defense that's been working. The Vikings have been it with the defense, so I, yep. I, I'm I'm rolling with the Vikings on that one too. Yep, Cardinals offense looked terrible against the Seahawks last week. So yep, I don't. I don't it's hard to trust the Cardinals. They're very up and down each week. But one team who's got a good defense but has a crappy offense that haven't been able to do anything, that's the Jets. The Seahawks yeah. versus the Jets <laughs> are going to happen uh, Sunday, 1 o'clock. Rodgers. And, man, I don't know. Gino, you talk facing, about that one? Gino facing his old team. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I did, in my mind, the Seahawks should walk away with that game. Like, they should. But you never know. The Jets' defense could keep him in it. Rodgers could wake up and have a miraculous game or something for once. You know, he might be tired of getting his ass beat constantly. So Yeah. Um, but I, I just – I don't know. That's a tough game. If I was a sports better, I definitely wouldn't touch that game with a 10-foot pole. Um, <laughs> yeah, about, I feel I like that's – I, I feel like it's kind of like a toss-up personally, even with the Jets being at home. Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's definitely a fifty fifty game. That's a weird game. game to me. Yeah, I I'd lean Seahawks, but I'm not I'm not betting my bank account on it. Oh, hell no. Uh, but we'll we'll stick with that one o'clock game time, and and we'll talk a little bit about your Commanders. Are they gonna get it done against the Titans, man? Because they they sure as hell didn't against the Cowgirls. Yeah, and uh, based on how the Titans have been, I mean, they show up every game, dude. They compete. Their defense is not bad. They they go out there and they play hard. Will Levis seems like he might be starting to pick it up just a little bit. I'm not going to, you know, give them their flowers completely, but, I mean, they, they took on a, a good Texans team and they won on the road to got it done and, I don't know the commanders. You know we got like a, a three game skid going on. We should we should win this game. We're at home, but it's just at one point in the season when we were seven and two. Yeah, I would have said we would definitely beat the Titans. But right now, I have a, I have, I'm thinking the Titans are gonna walk in and they might smack us around a little bit. But <laughs> three games in a row with a bad taste in our mouth. Coming up on a bye week after the Titans game. 
I'm thinking we get it done. I really do. I, uh, you know, a lot of mistakes. We we start to fix the penalties, and I think I think we get back on track before the bye week. I'm with you, and your and the commander's defense has been starting to shape up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just they need to come alive before you know the end of the game. I feel like the commanders are one of those teams that just kind of wait to the end of the game. They're like, all right, now it's go time, yep. you know, and then they want to they want to start you know balling. But if they can do that at the beginning, I mean, it's it's going to be tough to stop that team, especially. I mean, the Titans haven't really been it, right? I mean, they're no. they're two and four on the road. They're three and eight total. So they have when they do get their wins, I guess it is on the road. But uh, I mean, they just I, they kind of got. Uh, if you look back at that last game they played, and they did win against the Texans, right? They they just beat the Texans. Yep. Yeah, and, and Stroud's a Conquo, so. the the tight end for the Titans ran just kind of like what Terry McLaurin did at the end of the game. Caught the ball around the fifty yard line or forty, and took mm-hmm. off all the way down the field. Scored a touchdown, that gave them a big um, advantage. And then of course Fairbairn was was choking over there for Houston. So uh, that game could have just went the other way, and Titans still would only have two wins. So. Um, I, I'm definitely laying commanders on that, and the line's crazy to me. It, it's still only minus five and a half. I Is would see that line. Yeah, I would say that's at least a, a, a you know a touchdown, um, in my opinion. But I guess it's because how the commanders haven't been playing and performing. Um, I mean, that, that maybe that's why. I mean, the books had us as ten point favorites against the Cowboys, and look at how that turned out. I mean, I I don't know. I just. We should win. Theor- like theoretically, we should win. It's just I I know the Titans are gonna come out. They're gonna they're gonna play hard because they, after being the Texans on the road, they're gonna be like, why not be able to beat this team on the road? And then whoever's next, and it's just the Commanders have just been really stagnant on offense lately. And it's if Cliff can't get it together in the beginning of the game, then it's like ah. It's going to be tough to win if we wait till halftime, right before halftime, to try to move the ball or right at the end of the game to move the ball. Like, we got to move the ball early. Early. Get a lot of chunk plays, take shots downfield, target Terry more often. Like, just do something, man. Because right now, it's just the offense has not been looking good. Yeah, Bobby brought up a good point. He's up in the chat right now. He's saying, first time in a long time, our league has eight teams competing for playoffs two mm. weeks out. And that's the truth. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, neck and neck divisions right now. Like I said, me, uh, Waterboy, and Pete in my division are all eight and four. Um, and I would have to look at everyone else's. I think another division's all um, seven and five, Ooh. something like that something like that so and that's that's where bunks in so bunks in another division that's uh just trying to scratch and claw their ways to the uh to the playoffs and right now but and bobby really needs me to lose this week because uh (laughs) it'll help them bump up in the in the standings but bobby i I am trying my best to get this win and get me (laughs) locked into the playoffs for the first time uh i mean not first time i've been in the playoffs before it's just never like this i would like to get in and feel a little comfortable but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I definitely got two good matchups with Pete and then Waterboy coming up. So uh, we'll see. We'll see about that. But uh, all we can do is just hope uh, it comes down to that. But moving on to the next couple games we'll want to talk about. We did cover the 49ers and Bills. Uh, what about the Eagles-Ravens? I think this game is a big one. I think this is going to be the best game of the week. Eagles versus the Ravens. Any thoughts before I probably go on a tangent? Any thoughts? Um, as a Commanders fan, I hope the Ravens win. <laughs> <laughs> True. But, I mean, Barkley, God, dude. As good as the Ravens run defenses, Barkley is just playing out of his mind right now. And, He's got 10 uh, touchdowns. The Eagles offensive line is playing very well. They're controlling the trenches on both sides of the ball, not just on offense. On defense, too, their line is getting after it. They're looking solid, and it pains me to say that because I thought Sirianni was going to be on his way out. I thought they were going to have a down year. 
But damn, Ravens, please win this game because that would be so awesome to finally see the Eagles get humbled over these last few weeks. So, <laughs> Well, I, I mean, both of these games, I mean, both of these teams have been playing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't really, I mean, like the Ravens did lose to the Steelers, but Steelers are a good team, good defense. The thing that's been burning the Ravens has been penalties and you you could look at their last game they just played they had so many penalties penalties that really burnt them Derrick Henry scored a touchdown I would have made a lot of money a lot of money (laughs) if he would if that that play would have just stood and then no they said never mind give it to Lamar he's gonna run it in because of the penalties Mm -hmm. and um and it was funny because I was watching the Manning cast and Bill Belichick actually brought that up saying that's the Ravens' downfall right now. It's just their penalties, all about their offensive linemen really messing up. Yep. And somehow Lamar is able to put the team on his back. He's got 27 touchdowns and only three interceptions, which is insane. Yeah. Um but if if they can't figure out that penalty situation, like you said, the Philadelphia Eagles will take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. They know how to control the ball on both sides. They've just been doing well. And uh, quite frankly, you can, you know, anybody can really throw against the Ravens. So that's going to be their, their chance to, you know, maybe depending if Devontae Smith is back in the lineup. But either way, Goddard, A.J. Brown, They'll all get a lot of targets. So, yeah. And then, of course, you got Saquon. You got to stack the line up. So, yeah, that's going to be a good game. I, I do I do like the uh, matchup with Barkley going up against a good run stop defense. Obviously, they're going to hand it off to him a lot. And I, I don't think it really matters how good your run stop defense is because <laughs> it only takes just one hole for Barkley just to break through and just, you know, make you pay. So, yeah. Um, I'm leaning Eagles on this game, um, but I, I think it's going to be a good one. I don't think it's going to be a blowout or anything. I think it's going to be within a field goal. Yep. Um, and with with how Justin Tucker has been struggling in the last uh, few weeks, hopefully uh, it's not because he missed a field goal. That's how, why they lose, but mm-hmm. we'll see. Uh, and then I guess to close it out, we'll talk a little bit. I mean, I don't really care about this game too much. The Monday night game, December 2nd, Browns versus Broncos. Uh, the, I mean, the Browns are showing a little bit of life, but not too much. But the Broncos, this is a team that's actually been um, pretty well. Bo Nix is starting to come alive. 16 touchdowns, six interceptions. And uh, Cortland Sutton for the Broncos. Yep. came out of nowhere started making his appearance over there so that team's been uh pretty nice pretty nice what do, what do you think do you think the broncos gonna walk away with this one um they should i mean their defense is solid but it's it but it's the same thing as like last week with the browns playing the steelers you can say the same thing steelers are solid defense then you got Jameis just looking you know looking pretty solid and then the snow coming down and he just delivers a good win and he, you know he battled through the entire game and he just seems like a guy who is grateful for the opportunity to be a quarterback a starting quarterback again and you know you never know what can happen with a guy that you know that's happy to get another chance he could you know he boosts the offense a little bit guy he's spreading the ball around but I mean, I think... he's performing in in uh these primetime games mm-hmm. like where everyone's watching him uh, you know he's been thriving in it. That's that's how they uh, they they beat the Steelers, right? Yep, in prime yeah. Prime time. So yeah, yeah came the, through. There you go. They, they, the he's already done it like once. A, it was like a fourth down play, and they were in the in the yeah, red zone. Snow, in. The snow's coming down. He scrambles and dives for the end zone and gets rocked and freaking scores the touchdown. Then they held it down on defense. But I mean, the Broncos are not some team that's just gonna let that happen. That defense is. Yeah. One of the better defenses in the league. And like you said, Bo Nix is he's starting to come around. But I mean the so. Steelers are are that defense too. Yep. So I mean if he can do it on them, he definitely can he can probably okay. do it on the Broncos. So they were, they were home. They're good. they're traveling to Mile High Stadium, so that's that's a little different atmosphere to yeah, play in. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one, but uh I'm excited to see all this football on Thanksgiving week. 
Mm-hmm. I'm excited um, as well. Sorry, I had uh, some audio coming through. All right. So Bobby's saying in the chat, we love Jameis. But <laughs> I, I, I guess we didn't talk about the Panthers game this week. We'll, we'll bring that up since Bobby's up in here in the chat. Another Panther fan for me. So most of the time I kind of skip that game. But Why not? Oh, I mean, you might as well. Not, it's a division right? game. And, you know, and Baker. I, Baker's Baker, been playing well. Baker's, Baker's yep. going up against his old team, the Panthers. And, and his man, old he has been playing there. well. He has been playing well. He can. He's been the guy who can scramble too now. Like he's been scrambling more than I've ever seen him scramble. Mm-hmm. He's been running, running in for touchdowns. Dude, how about um, that replay of him running down the field and getting that block for Bucky Irving? Yeah, for a man, while he's going dude. another ten, fifteen. I mean, the dude is. I mean, he's a competitor, a great teammate, and does whatever he can to try to win a football game. So. Yeah, Baker, Baker's been that guy who always plays with heart, and it, it shows every time he's playing, especially this season. Um, he's just been he's been out there. He, I mean, you, you saw him doing the DeVito, throwing the uh, <laughs> throwing the <laughs> his signs out there. And, yeah, man, you, you got to love watching him play. But And the Panthers, though. Almost, almost taking down the Chiefs. We talked about it a little bit earlier in this mm-hmm. episode, um, but just just came short because you gave Mahomes a little bit too much time on the clock. But I mean, any other team like that, I don't think I don't see people driving down the field like someone like Mahomes nope. and able to get that win. So um, you know, eighty percent of the league, I say we, we got that win, but oh, yeah. it's just we were playing the wrong oh. team at the wrong time. <laughs> um, yep. And that's what happened. So Bryce is starting to is starting to come around. Hopefully, uh, you know, having him sit a little bit and now coming back, and maybe he's uh, revamped. I feel like that offense is revamped. They're starting mm-hmm. to uh, he's starting to dial in. He just he it's it's so he's so off and on. I just really want him to be consistent a little bit more. And if he can do that, and he shows us once again that he can perform. That same way he did against the Chiefs, man, I, I think we'll we'll be all right. He he definitely looks a lot more more decisive when he's out there and his pocket presence. I was watching some of the highlights um before we got on here from the Chiefs game and it just and the one thing I noticed when they were playing the Giants in what was it, Germany? Um, his mm-hmm. pocket presence, his ability to feel the pressure, escape start to move around the pocket and also keep his eyes downfield to find his receiver. I mean, he looks like a completely different player from the way he looked in the beginning of the season before he got benched. I mean, I, that definitely him getting benched was the best thing for him. And if he can stay consistent and keep playing well the rest of the season, regardless of you guys winning or losing the games, if he can just right. show that he can do the job and be the quarterback, that's one less position you have to worry about come draft come next season you know you still want to bring someone in to compete with them of course but you know you can spend a high draft pick on another position of need instead couldn't say it better myself (laughs) couldn't say it better myself yeah for sure i mean just looking looking back i think they just need to do that earlier man just bench them let let a veteran kind of like take the reins let them sit back watch a little bit because ever since day one you know the panthers had to throw him out there and he look, he's been looking like a deer in, his, in the headlights almost every game running around obviously his rookie year we didn't have the line that we we improved on um but then at the beginning of this year it was kind of similar and we're like hang on we already improved our line. What what's going on? Um, and so then, yeah, Andy Dalton took the lead, kind of showed him how it was done. You saw, I mean, mm-hmm. Dalton was slinging it day, day one. He got put in the game, and uh, I was happy to see that. So now, being able to trust in our pick that we finally, you know, is finally starting to come along. I'm, I'm not saying it's there. I, I just hope that what we saw against the Chiefs because the Chiefs were sending blitzes. It wasn't like oh, yeah. they were sitting back with only three guys rushing. They nope. were sending the heat. So they were sending like six, seven guys sometimes. If, like, oh if they if he can just keep uh keep that, you know, pocket presence, just knowing where he's gotta go and just, you know, just that ability to just quick passes. Quick passes, get yep. it out of your hands and I think I think we'll be all right uh, for the future seasons. 
Uh, just hopefully no one gets hurt, crosses, crosses fingers. Um, we did have our tight end come back. I, I did see that he was walking today in the he practice. He was in practice. Yeah, he was walking to practice. So um, he, he looks like he's fine, which thank God because – I, I thought he was done, man. I, I saw the way he landed on his head, and I was just like, oh, shit, here we go. This is another just thing added to the Panthers' curse was, right now. Was that that play where he got, like, tackled out of bounds or whatever, and he landed on his head? Yeah, I think he – yeah, and he made, like, a mm. – I can't even remember of what happened, but uh, I watched I watched that replay a lot, and I was, I was surprised they showed that replay <laughs> as much as they did. But, uh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, I saw it in the highlights. It didn't like, initially. It didn't seem like like when it happened. Like watching it real time, like it didn't look like as bad until you saw that replay. Watch it, like, but on the replay, I'm sure it looked yeah. a lot worse. So, yeah, yeah, he's good. He's back. That's uh, some good positive news. But uh, other than that, man, I, uh, do you have anything else you want to cover? Um, no, not. I mean, we pretty much covered the most important games. You know, there's not not really too many matchups out there this week that are crazy. Besides, I mean that Eagles definitely that Eagles Ravens game is a big circle around that one. So let's let's do a little, a little uh, segment before we sign off. Just, mm-hmm. I just came to the top of my head. Uh, look at the games for this week and give me your your upset of the week. Upset of the week. Okay. okay. I like that. Let's so. See. And if you need to know who's uh, favored, just let me know, and I'll, I'll tell you. But um, upset of the week, for me, I'm going to go to that primetime game that we were talking about. And I don't know if it's as much as an upset, but the Ravens are favored. So I'm going to say the Eagles win that game. Eagles win that game? Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Eagles for the upset of the week. I'm going to say depending on health. Um, depending on health, the Niners will upset the Bills. As in, like, if, if Brock Purdy plays? Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, that probably Brock Purdy. If he doesn't play, they definitely will not win. But There's a couple other upsets. that we. I'll just go ahead and throw them in there. I, I, I didn't know the Steelers. I forgot we already covered this. The Steelers are dogs road dogs on this so Steelers oh, I think is a good upset of the week I think that's a good one um, and then also even the Falcons at home against the Chargers I think the Falcons could get it done um, are the Falcons favored or the Chargers gotta be favored the Chargers are favored by one and a half so yeah, it's, c- it's damn near a pick them but I, c- I could see the Falcons getting that done but yeah it depends on health but then again when I click on the 49ers Bills game it says severe weather is you know reported for that game so in multiple feet of snow so mm-hmm. then again probably not so <laughs> I'd like to they see probably will uh, not upset <laughs> I would love love to see the Panthers get the upset of the week but uh, I, I don't it's know very we'll possible. see it's really definitely do. possible it's definitely possible right now like that whole division's open it's so it's open but like See, like the team, the Panthers now seeing the way they competed against one of the top teams in the league, I think that just gave them some juice and energy and confidence. So, <laughs> definitely we'll a good chance against the Bucks to get it done, even though Baker's gonna want to come back into Carolina and try to prove a point. But I don't know, man. Bryce looks rejuvenated. He, he looks, I hope you're right. He looks good. He definitely does. Uh, um, looking back, but uh. We're looking forward now, Bryce. Keep okay. that momentum going. Mm-hmm. Keep it going. We need you. We need to go. Let's go. Keep pounding like the Panthers say. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So that's it for uh, this week's episode of the Laces Out podcast. Week 13 is in the books, and we'll see you guys later. Good luck to, to all of you in your fantasy leagues, unless you're playing me. Then go fuck yourself. See you guys later. <laughs> yes, sir.